Hi everyone, this is Gloria with StampWithGloria.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little Halloween card fast and easy. And we're going to be using the Spooky Fun set out of the new Holiday Catalog. The Holiday Catalog is amazing. If you don't have it yet, just let me know. Contact me at StampWithGloria.com and I will be happy to send it to you. There are so many things in here, I just can't even begin to tell you how many punches and thinlets and um, bundles and just super cool ideas are in this catalog. Like I said, if you would like this catalog and you don't have it, just contact me and I'll get one out to you right away. But today I'm going to show you how to just basically stamp a really cute little card for Halloween. And we often forget that stamping is what we do. So this is a mostly stamped card with hardly any other techniques or anything in it. And it's just cute as a bug, I think. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start out with our ultra smooth white paper and I have the moon and I have the witch on my acrylic blocks already. A couple of things I want to mention. One is um, the bats are individual stamps. So a lot of times people forget that they don't have to stamp the bats individually. They can put it on into a group of stamps or any group of stamps on one acrylic block and then stamp it directly onto the paper. Another thing is we're going to be using the black archival pad here to stamp onto the, the white cardstock because I want to do some watercoloring and the black doesn't bleed if we watercolor it. So I just stamped our moon. Now sometimes people get a little aggressive and they um, they put ink on our stamps and then when you try to get it off it's permanent and you can't get the color off. I just want to point out that we do have a product that will clean your stamps and this is the stays on cleaner in the catalog and all you do is just rub it up and you take your cleaner your cleaning rag and clean it off and it's all ready to go again. All that black is gone. So just so that you can keep your stamps nice and pristine, don't forget we have that product um, that will clean off the stamp set. So I see I got a little boo-boo there. That's okay. It'll all add to the charm of my card. So I'm not worried about it at all. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use um, Old Olive and I'm going to use it, it with a watercolor technique. So I'm going to squeeze some ink into the lid of the stamp pad and if you don't know already, Stamping Up has a little divot in the lids of our stamp pad so we can do just this thing. We can do water coloring with it. And I'm going to use an aqua pen and we're going to just color the moon green because when I was a kid I heard that the moon was made out of green cheese. Did you guys hear that too? I heard it all the time. I didn't believe it, but I heard it. And we're just going to color it in. Now remember, you don't want to make this too juicy because we're on the cardstock and the cardstock doesn't absorb water like our watercolor paper does. And that makes sense, right? So now I'm going to ink up the witch and the bats in the archival black and we're just going to have her starting to fly across the moon. So we've stamped them up there. Isn't that cute? Now I want to give it a little ghost, ghosty look so I'm going to pick up some color again and then I'm going to take and I'm going to draw the color across the whole card and give it that you know kind of eerie you know glow with with the color and you can darken the color if you want in some spots to make it even creepier it's totally up to you and it it's all an artistic view of how many of those you want to put in there now I want to put in some ghosties and in the new catalog in the holiday catalog they do have seasonal um, stencils or masks they call them and they're so cute let me show you these these uh, stencils so this is the one we're going to use and I want to make little ghosties out of them for our Halloween card this is a cable one like think cable sweaters um, then we've got this 
cool like diagonal stripe one and there's there's thick and thin lines so that's going to be fun to use and then we've got the polka dots that are different sizes so a lot of fun little stencils that we can use to make some really cool backgrounds but right now I'm going to use this one and make some little ghosties out of it and I'm going to use a elegant eggplant and I'm going to pull that pad over to here and then I'm going to use a sponge dauber and I'm going to take and I'm going to ink up that sponge dauber with some elegant eggplant and then I'm going to just run it over you know darker in some spots lighter in others I'm not going to go quite to the bottom of the page but the witch is going to have some ghosty friends that are along for the ride isn't that cute that took like two seconds to do. If you want to make the ghosties kind of stand out, you can just take your marker and give them ghosty eyes. Isn't that cute? Oh my god, I can't stand the cuteness. Okay, so she's got her ghosty people coming along for the ride. Now when I was looking at the card, I'm like, okay, well this is cute, now what do I do? Well, Let's pretend that the witch is in a graveyard. So we need some tombstones. So to make the tombstones, what I did is I took the tags and label framelits, and I took a skinnier size and a bigger size. You can see here's the big one, here's the skinny one. And I just glued them together. I punched them out and glued them together. Now what we have here is um, I wanted the the tombstones to look a little, well, you know, a little catty corner, I guess, is what you want. So I cut off a little edge here. We want this to be on the bottom of the card. There's going to be just a little bit left, and we're going to cut that straight so that the tombstones are kind of kitty wampus there. Isn't that cute? And then I'm going to take um, from the In the Woods set, they have this poplar tree. Isn't it cute? I'm going to do like, I'm going to stamp it in purple first to give some depth. But you know, there's tons of weeds in an old graveyard, you know, that hasn't been taken care of. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically going to put some weeds down there. And then let's stick our tombstone on. Okay. Take and we'll tip, stick our tombstone on. Isn't that cute? I'm going to make it even cuter. You just wait a second. And then I'm going to take the black and, you know, we're going to have that shadow going on and the weeds growing up and we'll just have that contrast. So that looks, I think that looks pretty cute. Do you like my new tabletop? I just had um, all of the furniture in my office custom made and everything that I have I'm in love with. I, I just love demoing on this surface. Okay, so now we've got the tombstones going. I did take a black marker and go along the edge of one of the tombstones to give it a little bit of definition. Then I'm going to take the stamp and chalk marker and we're going to draw in even more definition just to give it like a fun little creepy look. You know, that the tombstones are down here. You could even draw an RIP, rest in peace, um, whatever you want to do. I'm going to tuck a little um, cobweb on here. So, and that's, and this is from the set too. So, I'm just going to press that in. There we go. I've got it on there. Isn't that cute? And that's basically it for this card, folks. Um, quick and easy and fun and then we're going to just take our card stock and put it right on the top and we have our finished card. I hope you like this demonstration. Everything that I made here you can find in the new holiday catalog and in our big catalog, Stamping Up catalog. Go to Stamping stampwithgloria.com and you can get, I can get all of these items out to you right away. Thanks for watching. Bye.